Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks. And in this video here, we're going to be finishing up with the courses in our success path. And there was two main things I wanted to go over here, really. And one of them, as I had mentioned earlier, is that along the way, you know, you, could, you have the ability to put in your breadcrumbs. But let's say you take out everything except for basically the course homepage and the lesson page or something. You always want to have the ability for somebody to be able to go back to the course homepage. So let's just go into our course right here and let's just go into our customize. And so let's say we are on our course homepage. We're on any page. It doesn't really matter. So I think that's where we ended up here on our course homepage. Don't just ignore what that says there. And we want to go into our, um, our template up here at the top. We're going to edit this here because we got this little uh, navigation element. And I just wanted to see in here where this uh, home was going to take us to. Let's go here. It's not set for anything. We want this to be a custom URL. It's what we want because what you can do is you can come into your customer center page. And you're going to see here, all it is, it's whatever your domain is slash customer center. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy that out of there and I'm going to paste that in right here. So this will be our home from now on. So anytime you're putting anything in here and you're putting in a navigation at the top, my suggestion would be, you know, either call it home or customer center or, you know, whatever you want to call courses courses would be another good word for it because people are thinking okay i got five different courses i click on that i go back i see what all my courses are just so people have the ability to be able to get back to this page here because again they may have multiple courses and they may come in and say okay well i need to go into this course and i need to find this template in here and then i need to go over to this course over here because i need this pdf that's going to help me write my emails or whatever it looks like and so they, you want them to be able to get back here easy enough and the breadcrumbs don't bring them back to the customer center if you're using the breadcrumbs as navigation. Now the other thing I want to do in here real quick is actually let's bounce back out of here. We're going to go to our pages. We're going to go to our theme pages and I'm going to type in the word lesson or just click on it here. Because I just want to grab a hold of our lesson page. Actually, now I think about it, we had already duplicated this page one time. So let's go to my site pages here. And now we have our new lesson page. So let's, let's go in here and let us, um, let us uh, click on this. Open it up and we will edit it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete out absolutely everything in here except for this dynamically replaced element right there. That's all I'm going to leave in here. And now we are going to save this page. And now let's go back into our course. And I'm just in case you're wondering, I'm completely winging this. I've never done this before. So hopefully I won't have to make a thousand edits on this thing. So let's go in here. We're going to add in a new lesson. And we're going to add the lesson. And we're going to call this our demo lesson just so we know exactly what it looks like and let's put in a thumbnail image we've done that before we're not going to put in anything else let's put in this image right there we are going to create this lesson but i forgot to do one thing while i was in there and it, well let's publish this too because i know eventually we're going to want to see it let's go back into edit our settings and we want to expand our lesson and we want to grab a hold of that theme uh, or that template and I don't see it here. So we are in a lesson, um, hero theme courses lesson, hero theme module. So that's not showing there. And I really thought that had been showing there in earlier videos. So that could be a ClickFunnels glitch. Let's go back out here. Let's go to our pages. Let's again go in here to lesson. Let's do that. Let's duplicate our lesson one more time or clone it as they call it here. We will clone this lesson. And so it's showing us it should be this one right here. And so let's rename this. And we're just going to call this our demo test. And we'll update the page. And so now we have our demo test here. 
And hopefully now when we go back into our course, I don't know, like I said, I swear that other one was showing up earlier. So let's come in here and let's click on this. And there we go. Now it's showing. So like I said, I think it was showing earlier. It could also be a fact that we have it set as a site page, but I don't think that's the issue. So we're going to grab a hold of this. Now, in this case here, we haven't made any changes inside of that template yet, which is okay. And we're going to update our lesson and we're going to come back out of here. Oh wait, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's go back into the lesson and we need to customize it and come over and click on module and our demo lesson. And now here we can change this template because that's what we would have done had we done that earlier in the earlier step like we did on the very first one. So we are going to edit this and let me see what we come up with here because this is showing here now, I've not seen that before. So let's just start deleting stuff and see what the heck happens here. And so we will do that. We will now save this as a template. I do believe is what we're doing. And now let's leave that other open. Let's come back here. Let's go back to our pages because I'm just curious here. If we now click on this to edit it, what we are going to see. Okay. We're seeing exactly what I was hoping we would see. So that's good. It did just change that individual template page. So now we have our dynamically replaced content here. That's good. So now let's go back to our course, go back down here to demo lesson one. And right now that's all we're seeing. Good. So that's what I wanted to see. So now what we can do here is like I said, in my the last video, I'm not going to show you that much that's totally different here, because we can do anything we want, we can put in a pre existing section that we already had. So we can do that. So you can come in here, you can create three, four, five different ways that you want your lessons to look and you just populate them in. So that way you don't have to create a whole bunch of different lesson templates. You can create a singular lesson template and then just pull all your sections into it that you have already pre-created. Or you could create two or three different lessons, uh, lesson templates and one has a header, one has a footer, one doesn't, you can do different things and then still be able to pull in stuff dynamically if you want to, because I can add more stuff down here at the bottom. So I can say now let's put in the full page. Let's put in a two column row. Let's put in here again, we want to have some sort of navigation. So we're going to put in the sidebar navigation and over here, we're going to put in the lesson video in this case here. So we'll go to courses and we'll come down and we'll drop in that lesson video. And so there's just a million degrees of possibilities of how you can change your lessons. And I'm showing this to you just for lessons, but the truth is you can do this at every level. You could do this at the level of the uh, customer uh, center page. You could do it at the module page. You can do it every single page along the way. So as we come into the customer center and we'll come in here, we can customize this. So let's say on our courses homepage, we want to put in a dynamic element as well. So we can open up here. Let me see if I can, let's just do it. Well, let's do it right here. Um, we're going to put in, Oh, where is it here? Should be under dynamic slots. It should be on here. I would think general sections maybe now this one's already put in. Oh, here it is way up at the top dynamic slots. Um, so yeah, so we can put in content body right here. So every single one of these pages, you can set it up with dynamic content that you can then put in individual elements or can pull in entire sections into there. And again, those sections can be regular sections or they can be universal sections as well. So just be aware of this, be, uh, you know, be ready to use this thing because this is an incredibly dynamic element for you to be able to use on your page. So I think that's it for the courses training. And of course there'll be a lot more training to come in the success path training. So again, any questions, just let me know.